Our wish this morning is a heartbreaking one and one that I wish we didn't have to deliver and one that I wish never had a reason to be nominated, but uh, Heather lost her husband last week. Went into the hospital with what presented as like a normal cold flu situation. It got progressively worse and he ended up passing away just three days after he checked into the hospital. So this is gonna be an intense Christmas for Heather. Uh, they unfortunately have a young son. I mean, fortunately that she'll get to have her kiddo with her, but so sad that this child is now growing up without a father too. And I know all of us, we've got our friends from Idaho Trust Bank, Candace and Rachel are here, and we were all crying right along with her as we heard this story. So this is gonna be a tough one. Uh, we're grateful to try and bring a little bit of hope. Can't imagine what she's dealing with. All right, this is Heather's Christmas wish, so we're about to walk up to her house. We've got her aunt who nominated her on the phone, that's Stephanie. And we've got some gifts, and here we go. Hi. Hi. Is Heather here by chance? Yes. Okay. Hey. 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 Oh, that's cool. We received a Christmas wish for you that says Heather was suddenly widowed when her husband, 39 years old, was taken to the hospital last week with pneumonia. He became septic when the infection spread to his blood. This caused his kidneys to shut down and tragically, he was unable to recover. They have an almost three-year-old son, and during this holiday season, Heather now finds herself facing huge medical bills, financial hardships, and the daunting task of raising her son without his dad. She works at a daycare, and he did not have life insurance. She's a compassionate, dedicated, loyal, beautiful person with a broken heart, shattered dreams, and an uncertain future. So we've got some diapers, some wipes, some baby wash. Now we want you to go get a massage when you feel up to it and do something for you just to let some stress out. And we've got Winter Garden and Glow tickets if you want to check out some Christmas lights too. So, uh, soup kettle grill food as well. And those are just our way of saying Merry Christmas in spite of everything. So it's all in that envelope. Our thoughts and prayers are with you, I'm so sorry. I know material things won't change her loss, but perhaps it might bring a ray of joy in the midst of her sorrow. Well, we just left Heather, um, man, that it's hard. I don't even oh, know what really to say about that. It was a hard one, yeah. That is the spirit of Christmas wish, though, that, you know, there are times when people ask us, how do we select what wishes to grant and, and what's the criteria? And there isn't one set criteria. We try and find people who have an urgent need. We always want to take care of kids, you know, first. And sometimes it's just to show hope. And that's one where, you know, Heather hasn't even probably really let it sink in yet that her husband's gone. Um, but you could tell when she was talking to her aunt that that meant something, that, that Stephanie had nominated her, that someone cared enough and that random strangers in the Treasure Valley would do something that would bring her a little nudge and say, we're with you. I think sometimes that's what Christmas is all about. So. It is. Yeah, it was It was good to see just her excitement and yeah. you know, how yeah. much joy we could just bring to her day and her kids' days. So. Yeah, it's, those are good tears. I bet there have been a lot of painful tears. Those are good tears. So. Merry Christmas.